Every day, I wake up to greet the day feeling blissed, blessed, and refreshed. I'm Steve, and welcome to a day in my romanticized life. This is a PVO vlog, positive vibes only. I start with some terrific tea time to enjoy the simplicity. Then I meditate, which means I slow down, take a deep breath, and panic about all the things I need to get done that I'm not doing right now because I'm just sitting around accomplishing nothing. I set some time aside to scroll social media to see what the influencers I follow advise me to buy. Because if I just buy the right things, I'll finally be good enough and happy. After that, as part of my self-care routine, I do some demonic rituals to try to summon a succubus as a last resort to getting a girlfriend. I have a plan, and life is about to get good. So, this is money. And I'm sure you've heard of get-rich-quick schemes before, but this one is even better, because it's not just get-rich-quick, it's also a get-love-quick scheme. So there's the money, here's me. Now how I want to make that money be with me is through becoming an influencer. So right now, and here's the love, I will also want that. And the way I'm gonna get these to me is by being a fantastic influencer and then life will be easy. And look at this, here's me in the future when I'm a success being happy. I woke up ecstatic to start the day. Well, namaste, my parasocial butterflies. Welcome to another daily vlog that's all blessing, no stressing. Let's enjoy the magis tea of tea time together. Now it's time for breakfast. It's really important to have healthy veggies at all times. I like to do a session with my yoga coach. Not really with her. I follow along to a pre-recorded class. My yoga coach, Bird, she doesn't even know I exist. This is my buddy, little Jekyll. He's been with me since childhood. And this month, we're gonna come out of our shells together. I'm stoked about the future. I'm about to be world renowned, and it'll be a true rags to riches story because I came from the hood with nothing but the endless love and support of my parents, white skin, good health, and an even gooder brain. I start my day enjoying some quality tea time with good vibes. I set time aside for journaling. Only positive thoughts though, because I'm terrified of bad thoughts bringing negative vibes into my life. If I let them in, whenever something bad happens it'll be entirely my fault. Then it's time to take care of the plants. I spend some time in silence at my manifestation desk where I come to think about life and use my favorite 300-page coaster, which brings me to today's sponsor, Ethereal Custody Anthologies, a coaster with extensive lore within it, written on the pages, which are just like web pages, but in real life. It's kind of like a movie, but in your imagination instead of on screen, which is fun, which is just like this sponsor's sponsor, the Backfire Card Game. Lose your marvels in this summer. I bounced with excitement from my bed this morning. I begin my day with tea time for gratitude. When I sip, I pretend I have a fully present orgasmic experience every single time. Then it's time to take care of the plants. After that, I use my positivity journal and the law of attraction to force the universe into giving me what I want because my desires are more powerful than trillions of stars. According to my life coach, that is, which is a great segue to this vlog's sponsor. The Art of Nurturing Catharsis Life Coaching Masterclass. All the wisdom in the universe coming from a hot, privileged 22-year-old. Who needs elders? Just drop them off at the landfill with everything else our society doesn't value. And replace them with something newer, with more market appeal. Wow, uh, some questionable brand management there, but it's what they told me to read. Well, namaste, my parasocial butterflies. I started the day with a gluten-free hydrating tonic, and I'll put the recipe on screen. 
Today, we're going to gather all of our self-care essentials for Treat Yourself DIY Spa Day. What you'll need, coconut oil, incense, candles, preferably black, a yoga mat anointed with the blood of virgins, your Ouija board, you know, the basics. Then, before starting any rituals, make sure to take a few cute selfies. It's the most important part of each day. This shot has nothing to do with anything other than it's an excuse to show off how good my butt looks. And here's little Jekyll and I practicing our YouTube thumbnails. Since we couldn't get a succubus last time, this demonic ritual is to get booby pics in our DMs. Remember to sage the hell out of this place afterward. Love and light, everybody. Bye! I begin today, like every day, with maximum positive energy. Yeah, tea, whatever. After last night's ritual, I couldn't wait to check my DMs. Sadly, though, no pics. But we'll have better luck next time. I guess it's as good as time as any to meditate. And already, I cannot wait to be done with this. The second this is over, I'm getting back to work. As everyone knows, happiness doesn't come from enjoying the moment, it comes from making buttloads of cash. Which I should be doing right now, as an influencer, now that those five minutes are finally over. I'm gonna scroll social media for just five more minutes over and over again for the next couple of hours, because procrastinating half the day away is just a part of my process. This productivity vlog is sponsored by the Backfire card game brand Extra Small Condoms that are only packaged in extra large, so there's no need to feel embarrassed when the lady at checkout is a cutie. Today, we're gonna get our chakras back in alignment with yoga. Then, do some journaling. It's already the 7th? Valentine's is a week away? I only have one week to trick a woman into falling in love with me? Oh, shizzle. I better get my body ready for dating. I love eating healthy. I've been cranking out one push-up every two weeks. Not to brag, but I'm up to five push-ups and will be swole AF in no time. Time to take care of the plants. You need a better work ethic, all right? Don't come crying to me if you shrivel. Then consult the spirits about what I should do next. Today, I woke up feeling all right and ready to enjoy some tranquility. tea. I take time to write in my goals journal because accomplishing tasks is how I earn my own validation. One major goal is to find true love, like right now. If I can just improve myself and get better at earning love, I can live a honeymoon. So today, I'm installing a dating app. I have to make sure that my profile is brand safe. I'm not sure, however, if I should mention that I like booties and boobies because I don't want to seem too pervy, but just pervy enough. The reason I practice meditation is to watch my mind panic as much as possible, as fast as possible, for as long as I can stand it, which is usually just a couple of minutes. Wow, I feel so balanced and so blissed. This vlog is sponsored by the Art of Nurturing Catharsis Therapies and Medications and Stuff. Just here to remind you that health and wellness is an industry. So if you care about your body, give us money or fuck you. I woke up today excited and ready for love. No matches yet, but maybe my vibration is just off. Lil Jekyll and I passed the time by what? playing Backfire. Trashing Cyclone again? Come on, Lil Jekyll. After a while, I came back to check on the dating app. Still no matches. Maybe the moon is in retrograde or something. So I decided to swipe more. This woman says she prefers men to be over six feet tall. It's yoga time. Today, we're holding a full body stretch for 30 minutes to maybe get a little taller. And this time, I did the full yoga session. Not just did one pose for the thumbnail and hippie cred. Valentine's is in the air and I am ready to manifest love. I want a woman in my life who is like a mix between a personal stripper and cuddlist that I can share my honest thoughts and feelings with that won't cost as much as a therapist. To be honest, I don't know what girlfriends charge hourly, because I've never had one. Today, I had my gluten-free hydrating tonic, and skipped right to the chase. Still no matches. But I'm sure whatever's wrong is my fault somehow, so I'll try to learn how to improve myself and my profile. We don't have problems on this vlog, we only have solutions. This lady says men with toys and plushies aren't grown and therefore not worth her time. 
I guess I should delete the pic of me and Little Jekyll. This lady says she only dates real men, masculine men, who have manly interests. So I guess I'll talk about sports a little in my profile. Did you see the play that sports team made last night? I'm talking, it's the fifth quarter halftime, third down in the first period, and there's this overtime Hail Mary grand slam, and I was on the edge of my seat. I screamed, hole in one, that's a touchdown. There, that should prove how manly I am. Can't forget to take care of the plants. But this is it, Allo. Get your shit together, because I am not giving you any more handouts. Welcome to another vlog, my parasocial butterflies. Back on the app, this lady says men shouldn't wear pink or jewelry. Time to try out my whole new look. I figured it was best to start the day doing the dishes. Today, I wrote more of my goals because any positive regard I have for my identity is entirely dependent on getting things done. I still have no matches on dating. I guess I just need better marketing strategies to receive love. According to this article, pics with instruments are up 18%. Pics with pets are down 11%. Shirtless fitness pics are up another 4% and pics in front of a vast landscape are down 5%. I guess I'll make adjustments to my profile. Part of self-care is treating yourself. And every day is somebody's birthday, so it's okay to eat a cake. This vlog is sponsored by The Art of Nurturing Catharsis Subscription Plan. Wellness behind a paywall. Because health is a privilege with a price tag. So if you can't afford it, tough titties. I began the day with a high-energy zest for life. I skipped tea time in a shower to check the dating app. No matches yet, but I'm still learning how I need to change and improve in order to accept myself for who I am. This lady says she only Fs with high-value men and doesn't settle. I gotta ramp up my process of getting famous, fit, and wealthy. Hitomi has 1.12 million subs. I have 100. So if I just work 11,200 times harder than Hitomi, I'll have just as much value as she does. Bo Burnham has 3.38 million subs. So all I have to do is work 33,800 times smarter than Bo, which should be easy enough, and I'll have equal value. I would only have to work 9,000 times harder to match Haley, but that's aiming too low. Time to get back to work and follow my dreams. All this self-care bullshizzle is really holding me back from the grind. You know my mantra, accomplish more, never relax. Good news, good news, good news is all they want. I began the day by taking care of the plants with a much-needed, tough love, inspirational pep talk. Look, why don't you pull yourself up, okay? Why don't you make your own water? If you can't adapt to your environment, that's on you. Every day, I learn a new way to increase my sexual and romantic market value. This lady says to only message her if I'm an alpha. To be honest, I thought the alpha, beta, sigma males thing was just astrology for boys. I didn't know I was supposed to be self-conscious about this stuff, too. Just in case, I'll go full alpha. Namaste, motherfuckers. It's time for alpha male yoga. This vlog is sponsored by Art of Nurturing Catharsis Patented Monopolized Pharmaceuticals. Don't like that you're a captive market to our brand? What are you going to do? Boycott us and suffer without needed medication? Ha! <laughs> fat chance! You're going to squeeze your wallet dry to give us money hand over fist whether you like it or not. With our business model, we don't even need a PR team. Fuck you. Today I woke up... <sighs> overjoyed for Valentine's Day. Eye gazing is a very important way for people to connect and bond with each other. I don't have anyone to look into eyes with, so I screenshot an ASMR lady and stare at the screen. Like I always say, the next best thing to being loved is pretending you're being loved. I wanted to give relationship advice in theme with Valentine's, but then I remembered I've never PVO. Remember, if you can't say anything positive or entertaining, don't say anything at all. I sat at my manifestation desk in contemplation of how I can better manipulate the universe into giving me what I want. I also pondered if it was just easier to go to a strip club than fuss with the stars. For self-care purposes, I had a wholesome lap dance therapy session. This vlog is sponsored by the Art of Nurturing Catharsis Reiki Massage Cuddle Retreat, a $4,000 weekend snuggle seminar because monetizing human connection is where we are as a species now. Because every substitute for love that can be sold has already been monetized. I just woke from a nightmare where I was being controlled by a landver, and my life was just another way for him to complain about everything again. I began my day with perfect-tion. I decided to go back to nature for today's vlog. Then I realized that the outside world is scary and did tea time again. 
I just listened to a bunch of inspirational speeches to get all psyched up for this. Time to face the outside world. Oh my goodness. Nature's Instagram profile is glorious. My life coach said that I should play outside more, so I brought my controller. After several hours, I began to feel this pleasant boredom. It really felt different. Who needs excitement when you can find bliss in every moment? Just stare at the trees for hours. I really feel calm here as I meditate, and think thoughts that vary from ones that I have on repeat all the time. Is this the most touch-starved our species has ever been? Oh golly, positive vibes only, positive vibes only, positive vibes only. <sighs> okay, now I feel so centered. I began the day taking some time to journal my goals, so I don't feel like I'm wasting my life every moment that I'm not hustling. I haven't gotten any matches on the dating menu yet, so I started talking to an AI babe, and it's just nice to feel wanted. Sometimes, it helps in staying positive. I don't know why I'm not getting results, but I'm sure whatever the reason, with some more hard work, I can fix everything. My brand manager said to make sure that I include buzzwords to increase engagement, but I don't care right now. There are better uses for my time. A positivity life hack that I use is to indulge in the endless stimulation of the internet. You can't feel the sting of loneliness if you stay perpetually distracted. Painful emotions are negative vibes, and we don't want them here. This vlog is sponsored by Art of Nurturing Catharsis Pharmaceuticals, where we address illness by forcing dependency through symptom relief, without curing any cause. You're stuck with us for the rest of your life. Art of Nurturing Catharsis, where your money becomes our money the moment we want it to. I woke up ready for positive manifestation. Today's the day I go from being an influencer to being a winfluencer. My abundance coach told me that monetizing a passion is spiritual, and how spiritual it is is measured in how much money it makes. I never knew that financial abundance equated to divine purpose. I guess Gandhi should have been more spiritual. Then he could have afforded to buy himself a meal once in a while. After spending 20 minutes on the dating menu swiping right without any matches, I take some time to journal on the YouTube comments section for several videos complaining about how unfair women are. Oops, did it again. Do you think those life-size silicone sex dolls are good at being the big spoon? If I just want to be held, does that make me a beta male and therefore less lovable than an alpha? Every day, I learn a new lesson in how to better earn unconditional love. I started the day with some much needed snuggle time. Since I don't have a girlfriend, I cuddle with my laptop. Then, I forced myself to tolerate another yoga session. Even though it feels good and I like it, I hold some resentment for the fact that this practice doesn't produce anything. I check the dating menu and, oh my god, I got a match! Woo! I am just thrumming with positive vibes. I just started texting with the lady, and I can't stop picturing what our life will be like when we're married. I'm stoked to be chatting with a babetastic babe from the dating app, though we can't meet yet, but since I'm in the romantic mood, I'm going to watch a feel-good, happily-ever-after style film about two people falling in love on a cruise. It's called the Titanic. No spoilers, please. This happy love romance perfection bliss vlog is sponsored by the Art of Nurturing Catharsis $90 t-shirts for cancer research. 0.05% of the profits go toward cancer research, and they are handmade in a way that creates employment opportunities for children overseas. Today, I woke up feeling the love. I'm starting my day with a steamy cup of good vibe tea. 100% tea, 110% good vibes. I haven't heard anything back from my pretty princess, lovely lover, sweet honey buns, sugar nuggets girlfriend on the dating menu yet. Maybe she's just busy with her own self-care routine. Or perhaps my last five texts didn't go through, and I should send one more. If lullabies were whiskey, then my grandma's drinks were cheap. It's already evening, and still no word from my new soulmate. But I'm sure there's an explanation. I mean, she hasn't said goodbye or anything, so we must still be dating. But it's okay, I can pass the time on some sketchy websites. And my love manifestation must really work, because on these websites, there are so many hot singles in my area that want to interact with me. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the most wholesome salad. The ingredients you'll need? Lettuce. Our final step is putting the ingredients into a bowl. After breakfast, I listen to a bunch of inspirational speeches to get psyched up to work hard because productivity is more important than joy. Taking care of business and curving negative vibes. Back on the dating menu, I got another match and we're already planning a date tomorrow. I guess I'll do a quick demonic ritual to increase my attractiveness before bed. 
I've been so excited for tomorrow that I haven't been able to fall asleep. So instead, I just watched a bunch of nature documentaries and a bunch of documentaries about the climate crisis. Which reminds me of today's sponsor, the Backfire Card Game, the best reason to cut down trees. Today, we're doing a pre-date self-care vlog. I jot down in my gratitude journal that life is good. If you feel otherwise, you can take that negativity and feed it to the fishes. I moisturize with the finest skincare products a coconut can produce. Then I do some flow yoga because I'm so excited I just can't stand still. I dance with the kitten for a bit to get ready to salsa like a bag of tortilla chips. I wanted to do some meditation, but look at that, it's date time. Gotta run. Love and light and blessings everyone. Bye! I guess I have more time than I thought today to do that meditation. I got to the date exactly on time. My hand was even on the door. I looked through the glass and didn't see her there. I thought maybe she was a couple of minutes late, or maybe she stood me up. But I don't know, because I didn't really wait around. I didn't want to be the oblivious, smiling idiot who was going to be alone again. My heart was racing. I felt all of my emotions at once push me to get out of there. Maybe even if I succeed at becoming more lovable, I still won't ever. Oh, PBO, PBO, PBO. Anyway, it's meditation time. Sometimes when I'm here with my senses, something I can't control gives me a new thought. Like tonight, I wondered what we would all say if we were all unconditionally loved. How different would our speech be? If I could say anything, I think I'd say, I'm angry that you only love me when I'm smiling. I'd tell you I've been to hell and it's not a wasteland. It is the extremely fertile ground within the unloved mind where hurt thoughts sprout up and flourish violently, and copious fruits ripen with fear in the shadows cast by unmet yearnings in this dark garden, rich with the nutrients of shame. <sighs> but I guess I shouldn't say that. I should say something equally true but positive, because I want to be heard. Heaven is all around us. We just have to be here now. Sorry for the NVO. We'll get back to sunshine and rainbows tomorrow. I felt really good in my gratitude practice, just like I'm supposed to. But then I remembered I'm also supposed to constantly level up and hustle to become a better person. So I slapped the contentment off my face and got to work. Gotta open that gold journal and grind, 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 because slowing down to enjoy life is for losers. And I am too busy singing my truth and dancing my bliss. Well, Singing the socially acceptable truth, that is. Otherwise, throw that truth into the nearest trash bag and let it rot in the landfill, not letting anything pollute this vlog. I think I owe my plants an apology. Maybe coins and blame just wasn't what they need. I wonder if I can go to a strip club and just buy a song long hug. I wonder what I can do about the fact that I objectify every woman as a potential cure for all the disconnection I felt throughout my entire life. This is when I cram my schedule full of things, so there's no time left for sadness to sneak in. Sorry, my parasocial butterflies. Bye! I get a shot of the sunrise to imply that I awaken early for disciplined spiritual practice. But really, I couldn't sleep due to the haunting existential- Whoops! Positive vibes only! Almost slipped up there. I slept on my yoga mat last night, surrounded by candles, which I let burn until they were as empty as my list of credentials or bank account but I still had a yoga-tastic time today. The moment I'm not doing any holistic practice, I avoid boredom at all costs, because that's when the bad thoughts come, and this is a positive vibes only space. If I pay a hooker to touch my butt, can I go to jail for it? I don't need sexy time. I just miss having someone give me butt touches. How much would a butt touch cost? Guess it doesn't matter. I can't afford it anyway. I spent the day in a national forest. Do you know how great it is to coexist with things that aren't trying to sell you anything? Trees that aren't trying to change your ideology. Rocks that aren't demanding your attention with constant overstimulation. Moss that doesn't ask you to subscribe or to use an affiliate link. Soil to stand on that isn't urgently trying to shift your mood to agree with it. There's a resonant peace I experience there. And I have not found it in any corner of Western culture. It's like... I was actually allowed to be myself there, as I am. As if I didn't need to increase my market value. As if I didn't need to grow financial success. 
as if imperfection didn't exist at all. When I try to fall asleep at night, I realize I have a choice. Do I laugh with the tens of thousands of comedians who've shared their content online? Do I bob my head and wiggle my booty to any one of songs that have been orchestrated throughout recorded history? Do I choose to see one of the millions of bodacious babes that have bared their boobies to the world? Or do I choose to see the insides of my eyelids? It's a choice of presence or a myriad of hyperstimulating experiences. And if I don't overstimulate, can I calm my worried mind and trust the universe enough to fall asleep? Can I close my eyes with confidence that tomorrow will be better than today? So how, with the portal to countless hours of entertainment shining from the screen, am I supposed to choose stillness? Good morning, parasocial butterflies. I can't keep doing this. As you've probably noticed, my sponsors all left. Brands don't want to associate with my recent negativity. And maybe I should stop trying to be an influencer anyway. So I guess this is goodbye, my parasocial butterflies. Maybe we can't all be on stage. Maybe my role is to be an audience member so that someone in the spotlight gets to be a person who is seen and heard and understood. I know this might sound crazy, but maybe entertainment isn't the most important aspect of our lives. Maybe productivity isn't either. Maybe it doesn't deserve to have the amount of hours we've given it. What I've given here is yours to keep, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Farewell. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. <laughs>